Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Sea Life Sea Dragon 5000F. So this is a really hefty photo video light. Um, plenty of light is gonna be produced by this. And at such a sort of high grade, it's got a sort of 97 rating on like a television lighting color index. Um, so it's very similar to natural light. It's quite a warm light. Um, so it's just going to uh, bring all the colors, but natural colors back into your sort of photos and your videos and that way it's just going to it's not going to be obvious that it's sort of lighting um, but it's going to bring all the colors so they look more natural so of course it comes in a case that you can see semi-rigid case and uh, it's got all the sort of foam cutouts so you can store it uh, really nicely um, or you can repurpose this case uh, if you want to Opening it up, uh, we're gonna look at the accessories first and then we're gonna take a dive in at the torch. Uh, in this little section here, we have some spare O-rings, uh, what looks like an O-ring remover, uh, and some silicone grease as well. So spare O-rings, of course the O-rings are already fitted, you don't have to fit these, these are spares if yours uh, ever wear out. Um, the usual warranty and sort of what comes with it and all that kind of stuff, bits of paperwork. Um, moving down into the main section, here's all the foam. Of course you can take this foam insert out if you do want to repurpose the box, um, but for now it's, uh, it's holding everything in position. Inside here I imagine are our chargers and uh, uh, probably some different mounting options all sorts so charging cradle for the battery big size battery I'll show you that in a second and uh, that's your sort of charging cradle so you just leave that on a desk or whatnot and then uh, sort of put it in top and uh, that's gonna recharge the battery um, different plug sockets and uh, sort of charging options to um, depending on where you are in the world you can plug it in and, uh, and recharge your batteries uh, charging adapters you get a, this is kind of connecting from the Sea Life Quick Connect to a YS mount. So if you're mounting it onto a, an arm that uses a YS knuckle, uh, you can do that. And, uh, and a normal sort of ball joint. So you can uh, sort of mount it onto a ball arm. Uh, okay, on with a little battery cover, as the name suggests. Um, you've got a little uh, sort of blank in here, uh, batteries in the light, taking the actual light itself out. So this is a little bit bigger than the, uh, the rest of the Sea Dragon range, um, but it's much, much more powerful. Uh, I'm just gonna take the battery out first uh, because it'll have a little battery protector. So on the back, we've got this um, sort of detailing around here, this kind of checkerboarding, and uh, that just makes it a little bit easy to, uh, to undo the, um, the back. And uh, I imagine we've got two O-ring seal, two O-rings around the back, uh, just producing a sort of redundant seal. And then inside, big, big battery and, uh, and a protector that I just need to remove so I can actually turn the, the light on. Put that to one side. Uh, little indicators tell you which way it goes in. So plus goes on that side and then I'm just gonna screw it back up. So this does have a overpressure valve. Uh, so in the unlikely event that any water does get into the battery compartment, um, this little valve is gonna allow any um, sort of expanding pressure, expanding gases uh, to escape through that. So you can still take that battery out and salvage the torch. Um, a lot of torches that don't have that overpressure valve just mean that um, if any water does get in, you won't be able to take undo that battery compartment and then you have to write the entire torch off. So, um, so that's quite a nice safety feature. Anodized aluminium throughout, um, makes it nice and strong. Um, it's still fairly lightweight despite its size and it's corrosion resistant. We've got some heat sinks around the side because 5,000 lumens is gonna produce quite a lot of light. On the front, we can see we've got quite a lot going on here. The main section, uh, the kind of yellowy bit, that's your Cobb uh, LED array. That's producing the white light. 
Either side, we've got uh, red LEDs, so it does have a red uh, sort of light function. Uh, a lot of fish, they can't see kind of red wavelengths, so um, it allows you to illuminate a scene that you can see, you can kind of line up your shot, but the fish don't really see this light, so they're not startled by it. And then when you take your photo, it, uh, it dims. And, um, and this sort of black dot at the top, this is um, a sort of photo or a light sensor so it has it has a few different functions the first one is it has an auto mode so depending on like the ambient light that light sensor at the top is going to dim the uh, the light as needed or make it brighter depending on sort of where you are and if it sees a photo flash it will cut out the video light so you don't get any interference from this light and your strobe so switching on and off, you've got a single button on the, uh, the top. So hold that down and around that, if I just block out this light for a second, we can see we've got light around that button and that's your battery level indicator. Um, and that's just basically gonna tell you how much battery life you have remaining. So the actual light itself, um, very powerful. I'm just gonna shut my eyes for a second because it is so powerful. Um, no real hot spots or hard edges. Um, and it's a real wide angle to the point where I can barely see you guys um, but yeah this is just gonna illuminate the scene really nice and evenly and um, and it's that sort of warmer sort of more natural light that um, actually it kind of mimics sunlight if you press the button it's gonna dim it down and then down and then down and then down to um, eventually it becomes the red light so this is the sort of stealth mode so you can get a little bit closer to um, to the fish and um, and they're not gonna be able to see this but if it ever sees a flash it switches itself off for a second and then goes back to it so if you're taking photos it's a very smart light if I cycle back to white again it'll do exactly the same it switches off for a second now I'm gonna switch this off completely um, so I don't have spots before my eyes but yeah it's a, a very powerful torch um, this is bringing plenty of lights to the party um, so if you want real sort of high-grade uh, sort of almost television quality um, sort of underwater videos then um, yeah yeah, this is producing the correct sort of light. Um, on the underside, we've got the different mounting options. Right now it's got the sort of YS mount fitted to it, but you can swap that over and do sort of whatever you want. Um, it's got all those different mounting options. So as a photo video light, underwater photo video light, top grade. Um, this is um, sort of really the, the, the very high grade, um, very good, uh, sort of high tier to um, to have on your um, on your camera rig uh, if you're diving and you're taking photos or videos um, it's that good sort of all rounder and because of the um, sort of the LED arrays on the front you've got the reds and the whites it, it really does tick all the boxes um, yeah there are no real downsides other than all your friends aren't going to want to be in front of you because you just blinds everyone it's so bright um yeah i definitely like it um yeah if you're underwater photographer uh it's not so good as like a normal handheld torch obviously it is very specialized to be a photo video light this is the sea life sea dragon 5000 f thanks for watching and safe diving we are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.